Hello, my friends. It is the Blueberry Bliss Podcast. We are talking about episode 22. It is going to be a ball. It's going to be a blast. It's in the car. Do not judge me. Turn the channel if you have a hard time with it. But I have a very special out-of-town guest that is so big in my life. My heart is like throbbing. Boom. Boom. With so much joy to see her this morning and to spend just a little bit of time with her, okay? And I'm keeping my eyes on the road. It is all fine. She's going to hold the camera, but I had to give her an introduction, okay? <laughs> Do you know that, uh, that my podcast is all about hope and joy and peace and like all the goodness of God, basically the goodness of God, his goodness, all the good things, right? Well, my friend, her name, right? Her name inspires my soul. Okay, I ain't gonna be exaggeratory. It ain't like this, oh, you're making such a big deal of things. Well, yes, I do make a big deal of things, okay? I'm extra, got it. But this woman, my heart, Cindy Hope. What? Yes, that's her name. Oh my gosh, I know. You can have her as a friend too, because I totally share my friends. But Cindy Hope is joining us from San Diego, California, episode 22, Blueberry Place Podcast. My name is Blue Wyatt. I am so excited to see you. Cindy, take it away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's quite the introduction. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling like uh, I should have something really important to say right about now. I said, like, let's go fly by the seat of our pants, man. No, I didn't say it like that at all. But I said, let's just see what the Holy Spirit wants to do because her name is Hope. She brings hope to people, so many people. Your outreach is so beautiful, Cindy. How do you feel about that? When you took this name, you're like, like see my face. this is my name, I'm going to own it, this is who I am, tell me everything. So, um, hi everybody. But can I first just, uh, can we just first make mention of the extremely bright colored lipstick that I'm wearing? It is beautiful. Oh that gosh. blue just bought for me and gave me. I love it, it's this beautiful. Is, this is bold, people. The this is the, the best. This is the, I'm in Nashville, I'm no longer in Cali. You know, I gotta <laughs> bust out the bright Shake lipstick. Shake it up. It does make my teeth look whiter though, huh? Oh my, that's so, a bonus. they are so white. That's a bonus. They are Total so bonus. white. Okay, back to, Ooh. um, back to to reality. Okay, we just okay. aged ourselves like a lot. Like, and it a lot, shows how lot. fun we are, by the way, Cindy. Because that shows. Like, hello. I mean, if they don't already know that, like, they don't. Well, they do. No, they know. If you've been watching her podcast, you know she's fun. Podcast. I love the way you talk. I just love having people in my life that speak. Like, I practice when I am at home. Like, this is not even how you talk. Anyway, keep going. I, I talk with your accent when you're not around. Like, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna call my friend Blue. She's over in Nashville. Blue's in Nashville. She's in Nashville. In Nashville. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my name uh, wasn't always Hope. I uh, went through a divorce and I no longer wanted to be associated with that last name for many, many reasons. And uh, I was praying about what to change my last name to. And my dad said, it's gotta be something meaningful and something that represents you. And I was praying about it and uh, God gave me the name Hope. And I was like, wow, I was like, okay, God. And I just felt like him saying, it's not only what I was going through, what I went through, but also like it represents like who I am and what I do. So it's like being a pastor of a church and, and but loving on people, caring for people, loving, like that's just bringing hope to situations where you feel like there is no more hope, you know, or when people feel hopeless or, and Jesus is the, Jesus is the hope, you know, he's the constant hope our our everything so yeah i just felt like so i changed my name and uh even uh, when i got remarried i told my husband just so you know i'm never changing my name it's my name i'm not like, giving it up man he was like that's okay i was like you can take mine if you want <laughs> i told him i was like you want to hyphen your last name i was like i think that'll be awesome that's perfect Terry actually gash hope yeah he wasn't super down with that but was it no well, still no. work on him either it's time you'll be yeah. married for many years long time forever I mean so anyway um, but yeah it's like and that's like what's inspired my life what's inspired um, I got it girl like what? who I am what I represent and it's just uh, you know I love it now it's just like I feel like it's always been hope you know it's just always, always. Been hope. yeah you you know what yes. you even when we were working on ships and you were training me because you've been doing it so much longer than me and thousand percent better than me but when I was under your care and you're like I just felt like a sister to you like I didn't feel like you were kind of lording it over me like hey I'm no. you know 
but it was like this sisterhood. But you did give me hope. I don't know if you remember some of the stuff I was walking through. The mention of the word father or dad would get me in a puddle yeah. of tears. And you were just there to catch me as a friend, as a godly woman. And you, you know what I love about you is you always brought me back to the word. You always yeah. brought me back to the one that got, gave me hope. Yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't lean on you. Right. Because there were, icon. you weren't very, uh, we're not available all the time. No. Like, I tell people I'm a number no. five friend. I'm like, a, on a scale of one to ten, I'm like a five. <laughs> you know, give me grace is what, <laughs> let's say. You're, you're like, I am the number grace. Like, yes. Like, yeah. don't expect me there all the time for you because I'm just not that friend. I'm like yeah. a five. Mediocre. Anyway. Sorry if I'm making everybody curse. But I just feel like, like, now. even you, I, you just gave me some solid words. Sometimes I was like not doing well on the ship and I'm like, what do I do? I'm this is this. You're like, here, this is what you do. You do Philippians four, <laughs> six or eight. You do be anxious in nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with right. with thanksgiving so, yeah. continue to make your requests known to God and here's the thing with my podcast it is based on the word and that is one of the big memories I have of like failing basically failing in life and Cindy's there to bring me hope with the word of God yeah. thanks friend thank you uh -huh. you got me through some really hard stuff and you will forever have that special place in my yeah. heart because you were the one I call and he's you're like he's the one and oh, I'm just like I yeah. mean, we'd be out dancing till wee hours of the night, and you'd start a conversation with a stranger in an elevator yeah. about Jesus and the power of the blood. The, I mean, and I'm just like this. My jaw's like, are, is this happening right now? You're like, is she really having this conversation? Are we having right this conversation? Like, yeah. I can't even believe this is. I'm like, anyway. Yeah, no, I, I hear you, and that's definitely like, um, I, I appreciate you saying that. I appreciate you saying that. Like, um, and I know you've been paying it forward ever since. I that's, have. That's how you are. Too. I have. Because that's. I've been sharing I think it's just the heart of God, though. It's like I'm sure people watching feel the same way. It's like you got to have that heart of God. And sometimes I've been in like the darkest, most challenging times of my life. Even when my mom was so sick and in hospitals and ICUs, and it was okay to retreat for a while. But then I just felt like God saying, like, you got to get back out there and and be meeting with people and I would take girls for lunch that from the church the younger girls that I mentor and stuff and just wow. and it didn't matter my mom was in the ICU like on the point of death and I was like okay I need to give back I have to because that's that's the only way you're gonna get out of where you're at is to actually like to to give what you need like 740 740 I have to say that seven minutes and 40 seconds I have to mark that because what you just said say it again say this message right here no I'm not kidding this is so good you got like, you got you to gotta give what you need and it's like in that time it's like God the way God designed it too is that when you disciple people when you help them when you give when you mentor them when you help them spiritually God set it up like he didn't say just go out and make decisions he said go out and make disciples and when you do that even though people it scares them it's actually the most rewarding you'll ever feel in your entire life it's better than any drug it's better than any person can give you it is the most satisfying and rewarding to your soul you've ever experienced because you're building God's family and you're helping his family and you're sowing in and you're helping build up one of his family members to be stronger and when you do what he's asked you to do it's the most rewarding fulfilling thing you've ever thought and most people it scares them they're like oh, I can't go and be disciple somebody what would I say what was I don't know if the quite answers it's not about that you just go and it's like you allow the Holy Spirit to use your experience and the word in you you know, you got to make sure that you've got like word in you because you don't want it to be coming out of, you know, you don't want to give opinion. them nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But I mean, yes. I know that God would mix my experiences with his word and I would use st some of my stories and, you know, just being able to be vulnerable with people and yep. being honest about yes. my own struggles. But when I would walk away from the table and I think, why do I feel good? Yes. Like, why do I feel good right now? Like, what if I, why am I even feeling? You're doing what he's called you to do. Right. You're fulfilling exactly. yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So when you do what God has commanded in the scriptures to do, it's, I wish I could tell more people, like, seriously, go out and find, at our church, we challenge them, go and find one person a year. If everybody discipled one person a year and then moved on to another person next year, the world would be wow. saved in 33 years. Wow. The entire world. So, because that's how quickly it would grow. You teach your person after a year to disciple one other person. And you don't run around trying to get millions of people saved. Find one person. Can you find one person? And you disciple them and you spend time with them and you, you give them those scriptures and you give them devotionals and you, and you give them books and you talk to them and you counsel with them and you sow into their lives until they're strong enough. Now they find somebody. 
you know, and then you move on to somebody else. How have and you never told me this, that I'm supposed to be doing this? How have we not had this <laughs> conversation? What kind of friend? Are you a five friend too? You're a five friend. Dang, I'm not holding it against you, You're supposed you, to be girl. watching my sermons and you'd be up to date. I don't you know do this. social. I'm kidding, I don't I'm do. Kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. Love, I'm kidding. You know, I, that's I'm probably. But no, 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 no. You go to a lot of church. I'm not at all like telling you to, you no, know. No, I mean. no. I know you're not. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, you know, so it's like that hope. But, you know, I think like you're talking about even when we were on the, on the cruise ships and stuff, like, I mean, I was years ago and working out in the world, not being in the church and the ministry and, and uh, you just find moments like to bring something up, talk about the love of God, you know, the scripture says it's the goodness of God that brings people to repentance, yes, you know, exactly. so um, not shaming them or telling them you shouldn't do that or be like that. Yeah. And you can't go to oh, yeah. another story. So. I know. It's a whole nother bag of chips. It's a whole nother it's bag, a whole of, chips. Another it's a whole nother bag of chips. So we haven't even had the main meal yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, We're just on the milk, right? Yeah, like, We're just hello. on the milk. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, you just have to, you have to be able to uh, be sensitive and see where people are at and then ask questions. You might just be the person that's asking a few questions to get them curious, to make them rethink something, and that's all you get. You don't get any further with that particular person. So, you know, and that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah, if somebody, you know, that's like my big question when somebody comes at me with like, well, you know, I just had this happen the other day. Guy's like, hey, well, you know, I was like, I, I you know, I, I've got a very open stance on religion and, and philosophy and everything, and I just believe that there's a lot of different ways. Like, we're all basically... Uh, what did he say kind of not like serving or after or following like you know how people say it. it's like one god we're all after oh. the same thing it's, oh. a, it's a god it's the universe many it's, ways to heaven many ways to god yeah right? and it's like everybody means the same thing when they talk about the universe and god and all this i'm like mm. you know and so he's going into this whole like the usual i'm sure if you've if you've had any conversations, you've seen like these people who just totally. want to wrap everything up, like just because oh. it feels good and everybody's right. happy. And like, so here's just... my one question: I always ask, I'm like, can I ask you how you came to that conclusion? You know, with curiosity, I yes. ask them, how, right. how did you come to that conclusion? And then it's like they start to tell me, oh, well, you know, I've read lots of books, and I'm like, okay, and did you read the Bible? Yes, cover to cover. Well, no, I, I, there was a lot of questions I had. I said, oh, I said, okay, I said, you, can you do you mind giving me an example of one? Oh yeah, and then he starts on, and then. I had an answer and he was kind of like, that's in the Bible. I'm like, uh -huh. you know, and so it's like that opens the door for you to be able to talk because you're asking them and you're dealing with their questions. You know, I talked to him for about an hour and answered, gave him a lot of things he'd never a lot thought of. of. To think about, yeah. And then it's like you walk away and it's like, I don't expect that person to change their beliefs because they've, they've kind of held on to it. Like this is their, this is their flag that they're waving that they've staked in the ground. Like, oh, this is who I am. I'm like, a, but you I'm could have everything. challenged that and broken some things off of that person, some lies and deceit and all of that just by that one conversation. But what you did is you planted seed in the ground of new thinking, which is right. truth. Right. So that seed, you have to know that it's, it's going to do something. Yeah. So you can't just die. It's exactly. going to do something. Exactly. You got to give the Holy Spirit something Maybe to work with. Maybe the Lord's going to give saying? somebody else you to water it. You got to give the Holy Spirit it. something to work with. He's got to lay his head yes. down at night and got to be like, mm. the Holy Spirit's going to be like, remember that conversation you just had with you? Middle of night, dream, boom. Yeah. Your face is going to come in and he's like, this is oh, going to be bugging him. He's going to be like, ah, oh, yeah. So yeah. here's one of the, like, here's a good little tip. So this is one I use. I said to him, uh, you know, I always like, while I'm talking to somebody, I'm like inside, I'm praying like, Holy Spirit, what do I say? How do I answer? Well, you know, um, and he was like, well, you know, I believe the, the Bible, you know, was inspired then. I don't know if it's inspired now. And uh, he's like, I've read a lot of other inspirational books that are more inspirational. I said, I get that. There's a lot of inspirational books out there. I said, but you know, the number one selling book of all time. And he's like, the Bible. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, do you know what it sells 10 million copies a, a year? Mm -hmm. I was like, do you know what it outsells every number one seller every year? He's like, what? I'm like, yeah. He's like, really? I was like, uh huh. I was like, do you know he's like the only person that everybody still talks about 2,000 years only later? Person. Yes, the only person he's throughout like, history. Yeah. And I go, you know what? There's like, I was like, do you know they still teach him like his words, like in constitutions and 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 everywhere else? I was like, do you know you learned Jesus's words when you were in first grade? He was like, what? Golden I said, rule. yeah. I said, what's the golden rule? Yeah. I was like, do unto others. I said, yeah, it's Matthew chapter seven. He was like, huh. Yeah. But here's my little, here's my favorite, okay. here's my favorite one that you can use, and anybody can use this one, is like, he was like, well, you know, I think the Bible's been changed, and you know, the, the normal routine, I don't know if it's really what mm -hmm. God wanted to say, and so I said to him, can I make you God for a minute, can we, can you be God for a minute, and he was like, what, I was like, 
work, go with me here for a minute. I want to make you God. He was like, okay. I said, so you're God and you're, you've got all power. I said, so you're going to create a planet. You're going to create uh, a planet and you're going to call it Earth and you're going to want to make a family. So you're going to create the human being, the body, the eye. And he's like loving it. I was like, you create whales and dolphins and dogs and horses. And he's like, yeah, and I got mountains and trees. And he was like, yeah, he's loving it, right? I was like, you're a, you're a God. You, you, you create the whole universe. I was like, you're you're all powerful. He's like, yeah, I'm loving this, right? And I said, now you want to leave behind a simple book, an instruction manual for your family that you've created so that they can know you and know who they're supposed to be. Do you think as this all powerful being that you've just created everything, you could figure out how to leave behind a simple book that would launch the test of time? And he was just, he just sat there. He was like, he, he was, he was, he was, he was trapped. He was like, so he was good. like, yeah, he goes, yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess, don't drop off the edge. No, I won't. I don't know how because to do Because that this. podcast Will would you? go viral. <laughs> that would be, how did, how did Blue's podcast get 350 million views? <laughs> they were filming as they went into the bushes. Oh, oh my gosh, I think I'm on a dead end road, like, at a farm. Okay. I think I've arrived at, like, No, hey, you're you still going. No, you're still on the I'm map. I'm okay. You're still going. You're still four minutes away. Just follow this road. I'm just going. Okay. Just I, go. thought I was like landing at somebody's house going, can I have your chicken? Wait, I think we're supposed to turn left here. Oh, we are? Yeah. Yes, are yes. Go left. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is what I love about my podcast. The other day I had a podcast where I had a spider crawling right there on my thing and I freak out. I kill the spider. I spill the water all over the place in the middle. I don't edit this out. Like, let's just go. Let's yeah, go. Like, seriously. We're going to be all imperfect. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We somehow missed it now. We were supposed to. No. Now we're going there back was... the direction. We're supposed to go. It's because I am U-turning. I told you I was on the uh, wrong road. Okay. So we need to, I think you were. U-turn? Go back somehow the Somehow we way? missed the turn. It was right here. We I just believe. missed it. This we, is no, that go back. Go back. Go back. We need to make a U-turn here. You were like I'm on the right road. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm in the middle of the road. <laughs> She's like, what do you think I'm doing right I'm now? I'm in a U-turn. That's what you said to do, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Off I'm going to do bit. this. And I'm going to redirect it because we're only four minutes from my de destination. But I knew I did something wrong. Okay, I look. Look, it's now we're three minutes. Okay, let me just see. It says now head west. Head west. I hate with west. Turn left I don't know onto. how to do west. Is this west? The sun is radiating Okay, the we're going to keep going. We're going to make a left turn. Okay. When people something. say west, I just want to say, it's like saying turn right at the rock. I know, I, I what is like, that? I'm like, knows west? so you were heading the right way, it was my bad. I my was. bad, people, oh, it's my darling. bad, okay. It's On okay. my turn, we were supposed to go down the pretty green oh, trees. The pretty trees. I gotta say, this so place beautiful, beautiful, people. It is so Minus the bugs. Okay. What Did I have that? bugs today? It's so Look at pretty. You want to see where pretty. we're going? Look how pretty this is. Please oh, show the people. Oh they my need gosh. to know how beautiful Middle Welcome Tennessee Welcome to Tennessee. Is. Huh? Welcome. This might be where they live. Slow is down. Is this where they live? I'm going to slow down right no, now. No, keep going. Oh, keep going. <laughs> This is the fun I love about just being in our lives. Uh, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Us. Like, was that the turn? Let's just see. We might have missed it. Because I think that was it. That was it. Because they live oh, in that, that neighborhood. Awesome. I remember. I remember those homes. I told you I was going to the farm. This is the farm. This is so right cool. Like you this. miss your turn and you're literally in the like, farm. What if they're gonna, farmland? What if they want to hide you? Like, like here, just wanna, go in their house. Can I meet you. I love. Do you know I've well, my husband would love this. There's like so many people. Oh, sh I should turn around. You need to turn. <laughs> I was gonna go. See you need to turn around. Who lives down there? Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Oh, is there a car? Now we're good. Yeah, we no, it's I should have known that was the turn because the they um. It's only our second U-turn on the trip. Doing pretty I well. took three to get to you this morning. <laughs> I literally was like, oh, they wanted me to turn there? Why weren't they more clear about it? Yep. It's like, all right. I'm sorry I put up in your house. See, they sell eggs. That's why they have a roundabout. They sell eggs. Yeah. I know they do. Yeah, so we're going to go back and then we're going to go that right because that's that little neighborhood. But you know but what? You know, what? I just feel like you brought hope to anybody who's touching this podcast. And even if it's like six months from now, somebody can get there and go, Amen. oh boy, I need to know this Cindy Amen. Hope. Tell us how to get to you. How do we find we you? Are, I'm in San Diego, but you can go onto our Promise website. Uh, the, I, I passed it down to the Promise Church. The Promise Church SD. Promise SD. In San Diego. The Promise. San Diego. Fabulous church. Very led by the Holy Spirit. Very Holy this. Spirit church. Very Holy Spirit. Like, yes, great okay, worship. Okay, Lord. Miracles, signs, wonders. Yep, like, all whoa. Of that. 
I just have to one say that. Miracles, Holy Spirit, prophetic. Prophetic. Um, preach the word, the straight word. up hardcore word. Truth. And Truth. Worship. Phenomenal and love. and love at church. It's like that's what people were saying. How uh, they come out of church and everybody greets them, everybody talks to them. People, Aww, there's no, just, yeah, it's like mm -hmm. there's no, clicks. everybody loves each I'm other. I'm super against gossip and all that nonsense. Yes. I'm all about the love. It of is Jesus nonsense. and you are love. You are just yeah, lovely. so, um, yeah. And so they need to find it. Like, let's say follow me on Insta. Insta, Cindy tell Hope. Them. Cindy Hope says, Cindy, Cindy Hope says, says, you know, says, Emma, have you heard of Emma Stark? Yes. Oh, she's lovely. Okay, you probably know her. You're probably friends with her because you know everybody. I don't but... know her. I sent you her book, you weirdo. <laughs> That's how I found her through <laughs> you. Oh my gosh! I thank you, Lord, for giving me the wisdom and the insight to know. Oh my gosh! I'm just gonna drive around this neighborhood for 30 minutes. We can say goodbye, but keep going straight. Uh, we can keep going straight. This is beautiful. The people behind so... me are like, "Oh, she's on a Sunday stroll." Yes, and it's Wednesday or not a day. It's, it's a not big, Wednesday. Pretty home. It's not Wednesday. Anyway, Jesus loves these people, but yes. I just Emma I, Stark, she's fabulous. She She'll says, get the prophetic says, warrior. Says, 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 yeah. So it's Cindy Hope says, says. Cindy says. Hope says. And she's lovely. So follow yep. her on social media and do all the things. Yeah. Um, and do what she said. And I share love what this she said. Video. Like share it. Like it and share it. Hello, there was some like evangelism tools in there that we shared, right? You like, were dropping a bomb with the whole pretend you're God. Okay, let's say you're God. You're God. This is you, God. And then I'm like, I have to listen to, to that again. Behind a book, like it's... people make it out like it's such a big deal. I'm like, dude, he's God. Okay, yeah. he literally created your eye, your yeah. eyeball. Yeah, the one that's so fascinating. He knows all the details. Even eye like, surgeons he literally, don't know everything. Yeah, they don't even know everything. And but, he made uh, your eye. You don't think you figure out a book? A book. He's like, come on, people. Oh, please. We're going to get to heaven and he's going to be like, what is, Yeah, I don't even know. He's got super patience. God. Super patience. Super patience. Because if I was up there, I'd be like, are these people seriously comp contrast my book? Do you know, yeah. I would have given oh, up on right me. Here. I'll pack it. I would have given up on me like years ago. Dude, I would have been like, oh, she's not listening. She's not getting it. I'm yeah. done. I'm done with her. She's sinning against me all over the place. She's yeah. saying these stupid things. She's yelling at her kids. Oh, you know what? I'm done. Yeah. I'm done with that blue chick. That's what I'd be oh, like. Here, here, here. Oh, right here? Yeah. Oh, Let's look. just pull in the driveway. And oh, be, these so, Let's just really be no, so no, the, it, the Bible? I mean, in, in the, the Bible. Driveway, girl. I mean, like, yes, no, not the I'm Bible. Out of town. Are you sure? Oh, yes. I used to driveway? park in the They used to be in from San Diego. I used to park in I the never driveway. I park in the driveway. We're going to be rude like that. Just go what in. We're going to be leaving we, together. The, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. I want to say goodbye, Blueberry Bye. Blues Podcast listeners, episode 22. You. Cindy Hope. I love her so much. Isn't she just so delightful? Good to see you I just want to snuggle her for you because you don't get to do it because I'm here. Snuggle, snuggle. Okay. We're going to go have fun. Love you. Bye.